Mbulubina Kafiji and uh, good afternoon. Our medical data currently shows that we have been through the worst of this uh, third wave. We had uh, discussed with a number of colleagues the hospital admissions and we are showing a sustained decrease in the amount of admissions related to COVID-19. Also, various employers also can vouch for this decreasing trend in that there is a decreasing COVID-related absences from work. All that said, our COVID safe measures, however, must continue in the near term, near term and probably the medium term to protect those who are most vulnerable. We have seen relatively low rates of hospitalizations and death in this wave due to our high rate of vaccination and uh, we have not had to create any extra space in our treatment facilities or mortuaries. But among the fatalities, we have uh, recorded a very clear trend. Most are unvaccinated. They suffer from serious comorbidity and died while at home or in transit to the hospital. This trend tells us that the next stage of our response involves a more holistic view of the medical realities that the nation faces. I know uh, that we've all grown accustomed to my updating the nation on the latest uh, COVID-19 case numbers and response measures. But the focus of my brief today is on a group of uh, diseases that can only worsen COVID-19. And uh, not only that, it can inflict a higher toll on our society than the virus ever could. I'm speaking of the prevalence of uh, non-communicable diseases in Fiji, what we call NCDs. After two years of non-stop COVID-19 coverage, I fear that this issue of NCDs, which is by far and away the number one killer of our people, has been secondary in our national, national discourse. But the suffering it creates is not second to any threat our people face to their well-being. The doctors and nurses I lead see the brutal face of this epidemic every day. We know that it is a burden that has persisted long before COVID. In fact, long before I became a doctor. And it demands our urgent attention as part of our resilience building in the COVID endemic world. So today I'm calling for a national reset in our national discourse on the health of our people. We need a new focus from the media and from members of the public on what is most deadly, and that is the epidemic of NCDs in this country. Last week, our Minister of uh, Health and Medical Services Wellness Unit, together with the Diabetes Fiji, published uh, NCD-related statistics from 2020. In a year dominated by almost nothing but COVID-19 headlines, we lost an estimated 5,700 Fijians due to uh, NCD-related uh, causes. These lives were ended too soon by silent killers like diabetes, stroke, heart disease, and others. I was glad to see some coverage of this, uh, this week of those uh, st st staggering uh, statistics. But uh, we can't settle for a handful of headlines on such an important issue. We have to keep talking about these diseases, the burden they place on our society, and about what we can do together to address them. Because this is a societal problem that affects every community in Fiji 
and saving lives depends on the actions from all of us. NCDs are deadly on their own, but COVID-19 can turn them into more efficient killers. NCDs and other comorbidities also complicate our ability to precisely determine the causes of death. It may be that someone died with COVID, but not from it. But because most of the deaths have occurred at home, it has become very difficult for us to be sure the, towards the extent to which uh, NCDs contributed to the death and the extent to which COVID-19 contributed to the death. However, our policy has been to categorize all these deaths as COVID-19 deaths. What is undisputable, though, is that comorbidities contributed to the fatality. So we know that the urgency of identifying, treating, and preventing NCDs remains paramount. We know that COVID-19 will be endemic in Fiji. That means the virus will never go away. It will remain like a common flu. It is our duty to engage in health-seeking behavior that builds our resilience to the virus. That means keeping steps, taking steps to keep ourselves healthy, like eating more nutritious foods, exercising regularly, getting vaccinated and boosted when we are eligible. Because the NCD epidemic is such an underreported crisis, I worry that not enough of us know about the resources we have available at the ministry to save lives from these diseases. So I'd like to go over some of the basics for everyone. The NCD burden has uh, built up in our society over the course of many decades. These diseases are not like uh, virus, viruses like COVID-19. You cannot catch them from other people. These diseases take root through bad habits, developing over an extended timeline of months to years, due primarily to the overconsumption of sugar, salt, oils, and highly processed foods, and a chronic lack of physical activity. The burden of these diseases, that these diseases place on our society and the health system is enormous. We've estimated it to amount to up to about 400 million annually. I want to clarify what we mean by that for the media. It does not mean that the government spent over 400 million failing to combat NCDs, as uh, someone reported. A disease burden is a measure of lost potential. Basically, if you add up every lost hour of productivity due to medical procedures, loss of mobility due to injury or amputation, loss of life due to NCDs, the estimated cost to the country amounts to more than 400 billion every year. That's what is meant by this particular cost. All this goes to show how and why our perception of health priorities need to change. For example, the recommended daily intake of sugar is about 60 spoons for women and 90 spoons for men. I can leave uh, social media to make up their own theories as to why that is so. I am sure that we've seen someone spoon more sugar into the single cup of tea than what we said. The same goes for processed food. They may be tasty and sometimes easy to get, but they are far worse for your health than the raw fruits and vegetables, our mangoes, bananas, pineapples, cabbage, choraya, bindi, and bele, to name a few. The nuts that we, are, that, uh, that we have growing in our gardens, lean meats like fish, and when I say fish, I'm not talking about fish and chips. We're talking about fresh fish. In much the same way we needed a whole of society response to deal with COVID-19, we need an effective whole of society response to deal with HCDs. However, this response needs to be sustained and improved 
over years and decades. The hope being that we save lives now and create a flywheel of good habits that saves lives for generations to come. Working with uh, key partners, WHO, UNDP, UNICEF, World Bank and other organizations such as Diabetes Fiji, Fiji Cancer Society, Medical Services Pacific, Empower, Lifeline Fiji, National Committee on uh, Preventing Suicide, Substance Abuse Advisory Council, we have e evolved a network of avenues to help to uh, provide prevention and care services for NCDs. We have clear and evolving guidelines on diabetic care, especially on diabetic food uh, care. There's a training package that we call PEN, Package of Essential uh, NCDs. This has been deployed to all our health personnel as an uh, ongoing program to help equip them with the knowledge to be able to counsel patients and provide interventions appropriately. Together with, with NCDs, we've included programs to screen for and provide care for rheumatic heart disease. The Ministry has uh, committed to facilitating uh, regular outreach services and undertaking community-wide awareness and promotion programs well before this pandemic. We recognized then that decentralizing public health and clinical care remains the one means to ensure that we reach all who need to be reached. The pandemic has actually created an opportunity to identify and treat NCDs with greater uh, accuracy. We needed, because at the time we needed to rapidly identify as many vulnerable Fijians as possible, including those with, uh, undiagnosed with NCDs, in order to prioritize them for vaccination. So now uh, we have the basis to build up an accurate and consistently maintained registries of patients with chronic disease which will allow us to reach them with advice and medication. Apart from face-to-face -face services, access, we've worked with strategic partners, including DFAT and NGOs in Fiji, to enable a virtual care ex uh, access through telehealth number 165 for services such as COVID care, cardiac care, surgery, cancer treatment, eye treatment, and mobile medication in support. Uh, support. This is together with other partners like Diabetes Fiji, Medical Services Pacific, and Fiji Cancer Society. This 165 line is currently being reviewed also to engage in service provision to supplement all our face-to-face -face clinics. So what we hope to do is that we hope to have a, a standard list of people who have chronic disease. We hope to be able to access them through virtual means just to be able to check on them and see if uh, they need medication support or if they need advice support. We also hope to build up the number so that they can access the same numbers for, uh, for support. The three divisional to hospital, hospitals have also a roving team that provides mobile support for some of these patients. The wellness team has engaged institutions and organizations through the virtual, uh, through the virtual modes and have also run sessions on wellness and NCDs for the Ministry of Youth and Sports and Fiji Sports Commission for some of our youth leaders and ambassadors to empower them as champions in their communities. The Wellness Unit has also worked with the Fiji Sports Commission, Ministry of Youth and Sports and WHO to develop videos for keeping physically active in pandemic and lockdown areas. The unit has run, out, uh, run an all-out awareness raising campaign through social marketing programs, articles in the dailies. We've got visual media coverage including something called the MyKana app and nutrition that we are promoting in our uh, social media platforms. You've got radio messages. There is the Wellness Fiji and the National Food and Nutrition Center Facebook pages. And they're also conducting interviews on Fiji 1 and Fiji 2 uh, breakfast shows together with the NCD workshops. And to ensure that our staff are catered for as well, we're working with WHO to provide uh, support for mental health and psychosocial support for frontliners with plans to expand the same program and integrate it into the NCD care uh, prevention and care network. Through MyKana app, and social media platforms, 
We are also encouraging uptake to the Ministry of Agriculture Grow From Home Gardening Initiative and also eating correctly portioned meals. Division by division, we may, we're taking this campaign to the grassroots, conducting home visits to, uh, to sort of checkups, operating local clinics that offer uh, NCD-related care, building capacity among healthcare staff through virtual training sessions, and informing people about our telehealth uh, system. When we've deployed mobile vaccination teams to reach the vulnerable NCD care patients, we've also arranged for deliveries of medicines and offered special outpatient treatment to those who needed to be treated at home. Other times, we arranged for these patients to be treated by private practitioners. This work is ongoing. There are many more people that we need to reach with good information so we can prevent the rise of NCDs. And with reliable diagnosis and treatment, we can also save lives. Changing habits, which sometimes have been entrenched for decades, is not easy. It requires patience. It requires empathy. It requires resolve. But I'm telling you today that it is worth it. It is worth it to help our loved ones, and it is worth it also to help ourselves. To sum it up, uh, targeting NCD-related care and addressing the root causes of these diseases is vital in our response to COVID-19's inevitable progression towards becoming endemic. I am the PS for, medical, for Health and Medical Services, and it is the duty of me and my team to help Fiji contend not only with a single virus or its variants, but with all diseases, all viruses, and all the health challenges that we face. Combating NCDs is part of our COVID-19 response and part of a larger effort to build a healthier and more resilient Fiji. So today, I'm asking members of the media and the broader community to help us get the message out on how we can stop this count altogether. On a more personal note, I was told that someone who has been posting uh, using fake profile, using my likeness, I'd just like to tell everybody, I do not have any public social media profile. And if you see someone using my image, please report the profile. Uh, I put out my public message on the Fiji government uh, and the Ministry of Health Facebook uh, programs, likewise with the Twitter and the Inst Instagram uh, pages. That's the only place that I engage in, through official means. I have no issue being made into a meme, but please try not to pretend to be me on social media. Thank you.